So today we're going to take a look at all the Lego High product sets which are due to retire this year in 2023. So if you are missing some Lego High product sets which you still need to get, make sure to get them before they retire because a lot of them are actually retiring this year, even some sets which were released this year. So let's take a look at the list. So. The first one on here is a 2021 set. You are going to see a lot of sets released around 2021, 2020, which are retiring this year because it's been, well, two or three years now. And that's usually the average lifespan for Lego sets nowadays, especially Harry Potter. So we see Harry, Von and Harry, so Harry Hermione, Ron and Hagrid, Brickhead, which is a very controversial Brickhead set when it first released because, um, well, we already had all of those characters in Brickhead form before, so it was basically a re-release set, just in a different sort of style, and I don't see really any need to buy the set, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. The Professor of Hogwarts set, that is retiring, which was released in 2022, so last year, so it's going to have a shelf uh, life of, what, one and a half years roughly, because all of these sets will retire December 20, no, December 30th, I believe the last day of December is. So you've still got a long time to go yet, but you are retiring on the last day of this year. The Professor of Hogwarts Brickhead set is a great set. It's a great Brickheads pack. We are getting four new characters which haven't been released before, and I think it's going to be a great pickup. Four Privet Drive is also a great set. That's a very old one now, released in 2020, so imagine most of you already have that. We have the Astronomy Tower from 2020 as well. I'm surprised that's not retired already. Uh, we have Hedwig from 2020. Um, if you're someone who wants to collect these buildable creatures, then you want to start picking those up. We've got the Apologies Potion Mistake set, which I think is a great set for the price, and you can even get it on sale quite easily as well, so definitely worth a pick up there. The Hospital Wing, the Magical Trunk, that won't be missed. The Hogwarts Carriage and Festivals, I'm surprised a lot of these 2022 sets are retiring. Basically every single summer 2022 set is retiring. We've got the Brickheads, we've got the Festivals, we've got the Sears' Rescue, which is a terrible set by the way. We've got the Ministry of Magic, we've got the Hungarian Horntail. I can imagine things like the Hungarian Horntail or the Ministry of Magic especially to be sets which go up in price because they have exclusive minifigures, especially that Ministry of Magic has a lot of exclusive minifigures and it's a very it's a very interesting set being it's not just your regular Hogwarts expansion, it's the Ministry of Magic. It's the only time we've ever gotten it in Lego. So we've also got the Hogwarts banners which were released this year are going to retire this year. So these are going to have a shelf life of roughly nine months, which is not long at all. Um, so make sure to pick those up, guys, because they're going to be super rare um, in the future because, you know, nine months isn't a long shelf life at all. You'd usually expect a couple of years at least for sets like that. So let's take a look at 2024. These are sets you've got plenty of time to pick up before they retire. You've got well, two Black Fridays to go through, which you can snag these sets on sale before they do end up retiring. So, uh, the War Horse, the 2018 Hogwarts Castle set after, well, at this point it would be six and a bit years. Wow, a six and a bit years of shelf life when this Hogwarts Castle microscale finally retires. What a great set. Um, I'm surprised if there's going to be a lot of people which don't already own that, but if you don't, Definitely worth picking up. Um, Diagon Alley, another great set. Uh, Hogsmeade Village Visit. Okay, so I'm surprised that's actually retiring in 2024. I would suspect it to retire in 2023, but I guess it's a very popular one. Now they're going to keep it on the shelves. Same with the Chamber of Secrets set. I think those two sets would be really good for investments. The Hogwarts Icon. So basically, 2024 is going to be the year where most of these big Lego High product sets retire. You've got the Hogwarts Icons. You've got the Diagon Alley, you've got the big Hogwarts Castle. They're all going in 2024. We've got the Dumbledore's Office in 2022. You've got the Shrieking Shack and Whomping Willow as well. A Room of Requirement and the Black Lake set, which were both released this year as well. Now we're looking at 2025. And the only one set to retire in 2025 is the UCS style Hogwarts Express set, which is obviously a very controversial set, but I quite like it. So there you go. I think the sets which you should definitely pick up um, if you've not got them, um, just to have, because I think they're really, really good, which are retiring soon, is probably Grimmauld Place. I think Grimmauld Place is a great set, and I think if you don't have that, you really are going to start to regret it after 2023 has finished. The Hungarian Horntail is a great set. Uh, the Ministry of Magic is um, hit or miss. The Sousa's Rescue is terrible. Um, Magical Trunk, definitely a pass. Um, 
I mean, stuff like the podium position mistake and the four pivot driver are also great sets, but um, yeah, I think you've got a lot of sets retiring this year, so just something to keep in mind that if you want to be a completionist in your LEGO Harry Potter collection, just keep an eye on these sets because there are a whole lot of sets retiring this year, some sets retiring next year, and one set retiring in 2025 so far. So that's going to be it for this video. Just some information for you guys, and uh, yeah. Make sure to come back tomorrow for another LEGO Harry Potter video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I've been Top of Bricks. I'll catch you tomorrow for another LEGO Harry Potter video. I'll see you there.